Hey there everybody, how you doing? Thank you for coming back. I hope you're having a wonderful day or night. Welcome back to my channel. As always, I'm Deluxe. All right, doing a what's new in Transformers. And boys and girls, you need to sit back because there's a lot of new stuff coming over because there's a Shanghai convention and man, they showed us a lot of stuff. But before that, do me a big favor. Go down and hit, the, hit me with some likes, shares, prayers, and care bears. Go down and hit that sub button for me if you like the channel. I really appreciate that. Hit that little bell. It notifies new content. You can follow me on Instagram, Twitter, or on Facebook. You know it's in the description. It's easy peasy, so let me squeeze it. And as always, shirts, shirts, shirts for sale. Uh-huh. They're in the description. I got three new ones. Do me a big favor. Check them out. If you like one, buy one. All right. We all need new shirts. Do me a favor, go check out Mr. Terry Wong. He's at Terry's TFF's Club. A wonderful man, awesome guy to deal with, man. Easy site, man, it's easy to navigate, really nice, awesome. He's got everything for you, man. He's got legends, he's got third party, he's got Hasbro, he's got knockoffs. Man, he's got you covered. Transformer galore. Man, free shipping, fast shipping, wonderful man to deal with, man. Tell him Deluxe sent you. He might even give you a virtual hug. All right. So like I said, sit back, get some popcorn, get some M&Ms, whatever you want to eat on, get some drinks or whatever, because there is a lot of good stuff that we got to talk about. Man, so sit back and enjoy. Up first, as always, we got add-on kits, add-on kits, add-on kits for days. Now this is not at the convention, but uh, I found this is, uh, this looks like it's Utopia YYW-04A. They're gap fillers for the SS44 Jetwing Prime. So you're getting some wing fillers and some extensions for the trailer and all that wonderful stuff just to fill out all the gaps and waffles in the uh, or the Studio Series uh, Jetwing Optimus Prime. So pretty cool. So look up Utopia and gap fillers. All right. And also one more thing before we get stuff to at the convention, it looks like we got a 3 3D printed mock-up of the Fans Toys Acoustic Wave. So yeah, we got the new Fans Toys Sound Wave. Well, it's not new, this is like old, but it looks like they're showing like a blander, like kind of a G1 tune version to what they had at the beginning of FT-02. So this was their second one they was gonna put out, but they never did because of the Sound Wave and uh, Takara Masterpiece, and which was really so good. And I don't know if I'm gonna be in on this one, but you know, hit me up in the comments, tell me what you are. Are you gonna get the Fans Toys one? Cause it's gonna be an older model, but we'll see. Uh, but yeah, Fans Toys uh, 3D printed mock-up of Acoustic Wave, their sound wave. So up next, we have some Legends news. And man, oh my God, we got a lot of good stuff. So first, we got New Age. They're going to give us a Braun and Outback. And these look really good. Braun is blocky, just like he should be. And he's got some, you know, Outback comes with his gun. Because I think he was the only mini bot that had a weapon with him. And then Braun comes with that little drill in the front from that one episode. So these look really good. I'm excited. And they're going to start doing some more mini bots. So very good on the... Um, New Age Outback and uh, Braun. So up next, and I think this is a clever way to use this mold, we are getting the turtles out of the Braun mold. And this looks pretty cool. I'm definitely in for these. So you get Leonardo, Raphael, Michelangelo, and Donatello, and the Braun kind of thing. So you get the pizza with the, you know, their same colors of their headbands and everything. And it looks really cool. I think they're really, nice. they're called H19 in Pizzeria. So yeah, with uh, you know, always transformer, you can get a recolor or a retool or something like that. They're using them to do it, give us a little crossover turtle action. So really cool. I like this. Up next from them is XM1 Mista. This is their sound wave. Yay from the Bayverse and everything. Then you're also getting Laser Beak and Ravage. So this is the Mercedes mode and everything uh, from Dark of the Moon. And uh, they're doing, I guess they're jumping into the movie verse, which is kind of weird. They're doing G1 and they're jumping into this, but you know, this looks pretty good. He got his gun and everything. Nicely done uh, alt mode. I like it. And then, like I said, you get Laser Beak and Ravage. So this is XM1 Mista. This is their sound wave from Dark of the Moon. Also, they showed us their reflector, H22 Chimera. And everything on this looks really awesome. Man, I, I'm, I can't believe we're getting a reflector in legend scale. And they're going to combine to form the camera and everything. So this looks pretty cool. Um, looks like they're almost, you know, they're you know pretty far into it and everything so you know you got some you know nice uh, color for the uh bot modes and everything so yep this is their uh reflector nice h22 chimera and then we look at their ghost star screen which their star screen is wonderful probably my uh figure of the year actually to be honest so we got the ghost and you got the coordination set and it looks like you can see the cone heads down there which is awesome you got sky warper thundercracker and you got their megatron which they already have out so very nice i'm excited for all of these man come on now you're also getting a sunstorm so you know they're gonna recolor the crap out of this mold but 
I'm gonna get them because it's a wonderful mode. So yeah, we're getting a Sunstorm. So up next we have Magic Square. And thank God they're back. I mean, it's been a minute since uh, they put out a lot of stuff and everything. And I heard, you know, that there's only like one designer and he's a student or something. So he really doesn't have a lot of time. So, but they're still here and I'm I'm excited. Yeah, we got some good stuff. There's a big shot of their, all their stuff on their display. So they finally showed us their Minasaur and my God, these look freaking awesome i almost i almost said that for but man so you have it looks like three options for the minosaur so you can add on parts to him to make him like more tune version or a uh, toy version and that is awesome that is so many awesome options to give us so very nice and indiv individually they look good they're next to their prime and everything and motor master and all of them look really good so i'm excited for a combiner from mitre square nice so here's a shot of their star screen their reflector they got sound wave and their megatron very nice and their tapes you know rumble frenzy uh rat bat uh ravage and laser big man so very nice there's a closer shot of the reflector and once again I'm, I'm excited we're getting two reflectors who knew it you know for legend scale and the you know little tapes and everything they look really nice too and then we got pics of their star screen yay and there his uh cape is actually cloth so i'm sure we're gonna get a uh, you know a crown and some shoulder pads and everything for him also but i'm looking pretty good that jet mode looks very nice and their sound wave looks really good too. I'm, I'm not gonna lie. I, mean, I have the DX9 one and it's really good. So, but I'm gonna be in on this one too. So, yeah, very nice sound wave and laser beak on the shoulder. They got pics of their Megatron also. It looks pretty good. Uh, he's got a big chest. Where's his neck at? He don't have a neck. <laughs> but anyway, yeah, it looks pretty good. Um, I'm definitely in on their, um, you know, Megatron also. The new age one is really good too, but. I'm gonna try to check this one out also so you get some nice shots of Megatron and here's a shot of all their other stuff like primes and uh, stuff they've already put out and they got some new ones in there it looks like there's a clear Optimus Prime down there mm -hmm. and for MP scale too so you know how to get those so we're getting the Shattered Glass Cyclonus also so, you know because they have a Cyclonus out they didn't put out some more of the Septicons uh, but we're getting their Shattered Glass one I remember this was like a collector's club exclusive and I got him and everything, so but pretty cool for a cyclone. And for some reason, Ultra Magnus is wearing their cape. I don't know what that means, but you know, I guess he can. You know, other you know uh, other figures can wear their capes, so pretty cool. And like I said, there's their MP scale stuff. It looks like there's a clear one in the back, and you got a smaller one also. Uh, for their legends for clear so that looks really good so I'm definitely in on those up next in legends we have the iron factor display and then you can see a nice shot of all their stuff coming out and they got some new stuff coming in yeah man let's look oh first they're shipping, uh, showing us pics of their leo prime so this is from beast wars yeah it looks pretty good uh, i'm kind of excited now he's got a sword i love swords on the transformer so yeah there you go leo prime iron factory is giving us a scourge yay so they're not you know they're gonna give us a cyclonus so yeah very cool he's got you know the boat mode and everything and he's got the wing spreading out looks pretty good i'm excited for us you know skirt and yes folks that is galvatron they are giving us a void or a vod void tyrant or something i can't it's kind of blurry but anyways they're giving us, us iron factory galvatron and he looks like he's got a crown i don't know but yeah that's just his head sculpt and everything so very nicely done they got the you know the gun mode so very nice we're getting a stylized kind of galvatron thing going on nice can't wait and up next they showed us their sound wave also with the uh, rumble and frenzy they look pretty good i think this is the one that turns into the van kind of thing going on but pretty cool and then you got the you know the uh, pile drivers and everything so pretty cool sound wave and rumble and frenzy then we got pics of their bludgeon and we're getting and that once again he has a sword and it looks really good he's got the, the devil face on his chest and looks pretty nice and he's a triple changer he turns into like a crawler thing or something like that and a tank so pretty cool that we got bludgeon from iron factory so it looks like we're getting two new uh seekers heckle light which is the blue one and the uh gold and red and all that and black is obsidian so that is pretty cool they look really nice they're getting tons of repaints from these and it's a good mold so i'll probably definitely pick these up and we're getting a clear mirage in blue he looks like you know blueberry mirage and i love it i'm so excited for that so yep we got some new stuff uh, uh, new Seekers and a Clear Mirage from Our Factory. Also getting a Fallen, also named uh, Chaos Raven, EX-36R. This thing looks badass. It looks like he can cause some destruction. It looks pretty cool. He's got a, he's really beefy. Love those swords and everything. Very nice translucent orange and black and everything. So very nice on the Fallen from Our Factory. And right below it, it looks like we're getting a Power Glide also, which looks, you know, pretty good. He's not the, you know, plain mode. He is kind of stylized. 
kind of thought at first I thought it was Windblade, to be honest, but you know, with the wings and everything. So, but you know, it looks pretty cool. I'm definitely in. Everything Iron Factory makes is gold and platinum, silver, whatever you want to call it. So very nice on the Iron Factory uh, Power Glide. And we also got some new images of their Optimal Optimus Prime. Uh, this is from Beast Wars. He is a quadruple changer. He turns into a, a jet, a kind of a land car thing whatever i don't know if you want to call it a car or not but and he comes you know turns into an ape and everything so very nice this looks really good this thing looks really big to be honest though man this is almost look like deluxe and voyager scale but yeah new pro uh new pictures of optimal optimus prime we also got new Im images of their exhaust this is their retool and recolor of their wheel jack you know in the marlboro kind of thing you know motif so pretty cool. I think he, isn't he exclusive or something for this show? Uh, I can't remember. I think he is, but don't quote me on it. But yeah, new images of the exhaust. They also got new images of their Transmetal 2 Megatron. This is their Dragon 1 and this thing looks beautiful. Very nicely translucent orange uh, wings, you know, and everything. He's a look like a triple changer. So very nice. I think he should be coming out pretty soon. Uh, he's uh, you know, looking almost finished, so very nice. They also got new images of their Shattered Glass Jetfire. So uh, Hasbro made a, a half him also. They did the Jetfire of the Classics and they did a, like a black and purple uh, redeco of him. And so Iron Factory's doing that for Jetfire to get a re, you know, tool or recolor of him. So pretty cool. I'm definitely in for this. Jetfire is a really good uh, mold and everything. They also got pictures of their Cliff Jumper. He's a little you know, van kind of thing going on. I guess him and Soundwave are going to be vans or something like that. I don't know. But yeah, new pictures of Clip Jumper. All right, on to MP Scale News. And it looks like we got some new images of Chain Toys, their Predacons. I think this used to be Zeta or something like that, but Zeta's still around. So I guess this is another spinoff of them and everything. Or it might be Toy World. Who was Chain Toys? I forgot. Golly, they've changed so many times. But anyways, we're getting new Predacons. We got their Rampage and their uh, Tantrum. Uh, so they're called Fero Ferocious and Land looks like land bull or something i don't know but yeah this is their first two and you know rampage looks pretty good he's got some nice uh chrome to his teeth and everything and then you got you know tantrum the bull and everything then you got the little crab thing that turns into a hand or a weapon or a frying pan whatever you want to call it <laughs> so there you go we got some new stuff from chain toys up next is iron warrior looks like generation toys and uh we got some transformer element also so Iron Warrior is giving us a combo of their Optimus Prime and Jetfire, and they're also giving us a Knockout and an Ultra Magnus from the uh, Transformers Prime line. So pretty cool. Um, I bought their Optimus Prime and it was probably one of the worst purchases I bought this year. Actually it was. Um, so, well, you know, if you're in for that kind of thing, then, you know, cool. Uh, but yeah, this is some new Iron Warrior stuff. Then Generation Toys is giving us GT11 Red Bull. Uh, this is their line with the, you know, kind of a Beast Wars kind of thing going on. So this is Sideswipe and he turns into a bull. So looks pretty cool. Um, I got the DX9 one uh, Sideswipe and it's all right. So I'll make it this guy. Then another pick of their MTST-01 Wrath. Uh, this is their Grimlock and he's huge. Looks pretty big, so pretty cool. Got a little Optimus Prime run on the back of him, so very nice. So Fans Toys was there also. Fans Toys. Um, we got Thomas from uh, Astro Train. Looks really good. I'm excited. Can't wait to get him, and I hope they're going to make a Blitzwing, or make their Blitzwing. Uh, two new uh, Stunticons and their Iceman, one of their next uh, Aerobot after Goose. And also we got Spindrift for version 2. And we got, um, we look like Brawn, Warpath, and uh, Beachcomber and everything. So they should be coming out really soon. So very nice on the fans toy stuff. Astro Train, come on, let's go. We got a couple things from Transformer Element. We got their Black Rat which is already out and uh, pretty cool. And their Rat Trap, which I'm really looking forward to. Yay, Beast Wars. And they showed their Mirage also coming out. So that looks pretty cool. And I'm excited for that. And guess what? They have a Bumblebee coming out too. Who doesn't have a Bumblebee coming out? So yeah, this is from the Bumblebee movie. We're getting a, you know, another edition of Bumblebee from the Bumblebee movie. Yay, how many times can I say Bumblebee? Jeebus, but yeah, Transformer Element of Bumblebee. <laughs> And it looks like they're also going into the Beast Wars kind of thing. So they're giving us a uh, kind of a tiger uh, thing. And it looks maybe uh, MP scaled, I guess. Uh, and I guess this is going to be Bumblebee also. But he's going to be a tiger. So we got new picks of that. And they have their primes all doing the dab. I, I don't know why, but hey, whatever floats your boat. There you go. We got four new, or not four new ones, but they're, uh, you know, primes and everything from MP scale. Up next, the display is uh, Transcraft and Toy Wolf and Iron Trans. Yay. So Transcraft showed their Mohawk and it doesn't look bad. I love that green on there. It looks pretty cool. 
Uh, I'm gonna be on this guy. I don't know. I want to try transcraft and everything. So yeah, this is their new pictures of uh, their, their uh, mohawk. And guess what? I know, I know. This is out of the world. I never, I didn't see this coming. They have another bumblebee also. Yay! We're getting a bumblebee from transcraft also. My God, bumblebee and Optimus Prime. <sighs> they are just remaking the crap out of these. But yep, yeah, they got a bumblebee coming. So this is Toy Wolf, and they got their toilets, and they got their urinals, and pretty cool. I have the clear version of the toilet, and I'll probably get a urinal, urinal also with a cat, and so pretty cool. <laughs> and then they got a show us something else. It's another cat with a, it looks like a lay down toilet, maybe a, maybe a boudet or something that squirts water up your booty. I don't know, I don't know what it is, but you know they're giving us something like that. It's another cat. I have no earthly idea what this is. Your guess is good as mine. So some more cats in a bubble kind of spaceship thing or fox i don't know what they are whatever <laughs> so it also looks like iron trans is giving us a uh star saber so pretty cool you know it's looks decent you know i don't know you get the add-on stuff you can transform it and it looks like you, i guess you can transform it i don't know but yeah iron trans is giving us a star saber so if you like star saber here you go the next display is going to be x transbots titan power and tyree's toys I don't know, Optimus Prime, so here you go. So they showed us Gravestone real quick. There's a, a, a alt mode of them and all them together and they look really good. So that's the only thing we got from them. So it looks like Titan Power is doing a Voltron. Doesn't look bad at all. I would love to have a Voltron, uh, but you know, we'll see. So yeah, uh, trans, uh, Titan Power is uh, giving us a Voltron. And then Trace or Trice Toys. I don't know who this is. It's a new company, I guess. Uh, if you hit me up in the comments if you heard of this, they're giving us Optimus Prime. And it's kind of like a stylized G1, so he can open up his chest and show us the Matrix. So that looks pretty cool. Um, I don't know if it's transformed. It might be just one of those uh, ones that look, you know, action figures and everything. So yeah, Trice or Trace Toys is giving us an Optimus Prime. All right, next display is going to be Civil Warrior and their, the new Cyber Factory uh, movie Starscream. So it looks really good. So yeah, this is their Civil Warrior Optimus Prime, the World War Thing kind of deco and everything. It looks really good, actually, to be honest. It looks really nice. It's got some nice shiny paint to it. You got the wings, you know, the trailer that changes into the wings and everything. So yeah, very nice Civil Warrior Opti or General something. Uh, so they're giving us that it should be coming out real soon too because they've been showing a lot of pictures of it And we got some better pics of cyber factory and their star screen from the bumblebee movie it looks like and um, I'm gonna be honest. I'm really excited for this. It looks pretty good uh, It turns into a kind of a tetra jet thing and the bot mode looks really nice got some looks like got some great details I can't wait to see some painted versions of this. So yeah cyber factory is giving us a star screen very nice and Next display is gonna be DX9 living body robot and unique toys so very nice combined mode of Minasaur so as you can tell in the arms it looks like it's just gonna be you know those cards are gonna split in two and they're just gonna clip on to his arms and everything just like the G1 and everything so I don't know, that's pretty cool I mean X Transpot's gonna be doing it like that I'm sure fans toys also will be like that uh, but I think it looks pretty stable and uh, you know I'm not in the DX9 one but um, I'm excited for the X Transbots and Fans Toys ones to be coming out. So, yep, there's some uh, pics of uh, Minasaur from DX9. Then Living Body Robot. I, I don't know who these are. I guess it's a new company or something like that. So, they got like a speeder bike from Tron and they got Prime riding them. So, yeah, I mean, if you're into that stuff, then here you go. This is cool. So, this is Unique Toys. Looks like we're getting a Galvatron and they've got the Dragoo. I, got, I think that's their name of their uh, Megatron from the last night. And we're getting another Prime in kind of a shattered glass or something like that. He's in purple and black kind of deco. So pretty cool. More about this Galvatron. Look, it looks pretty good. To be honest, it's, got, it's really beefy. Uh, he's got the, you know, the swords on his um, forearms and everything. And he's got the missile pods, you know, in truck mode and everything. And he got a little guy with him. I don't know who that's going to be. I think it's that bald headed guy uh, that was in it in the movie and everything. So yeah, we're getting a Galvatron with the uh, no soul. So very nice from Unique Toys. And we got some more images of their uh, Last Night Megatron. And I'm I'm probably definitely getting this guy. He looks really good. Unique Toys is really doing good for their movie stuff and everything. So this looks really nice. And you got the jet mode also. So very nice. I wonder if it's coming with that stand because that stand looks pretty good too. But yeah, Unique Toys uh, Megatron. Up next, we have Toy World display and they're still around. Yay. So it looks like all, the, all their bumblebees and all their... Uh, they got Shatter coming and I got more Bumblebees and it looks like they got a Megatron from Dark of the Moon also. So that's nice. I, I think that's the first time we've seen this one, but here's a display real quick. So I think these were the con exclusives. This is their Bulldog into their um, Warpath and you got the uh, Bumblebee in a, like a black deco and everything. So that's their uh, 
exclusive, I think, for this year. And then he shows uh, their Toy World, uh, the uh, Beast Wars Legends uh, Megatron, which they've been showing that forever. I wish it had hurry up and come out because I'm ready to get it. You got Starscream in the back. That's their Build-A-Figure, which I'm trying to build and I'm excited. And you got some more uh, recolors of their um, Bumblebee. It looks like a police version or something like that. Weird. but. And they got Bulldog in the back right there with the uh, cape or something with a plastic bag or something over his shoulder. So it looks pretty good. And more pics of another Bumblebee, I guess a police version, which is blue. And you got the Toy World uh, Megatron. And you got Starscream back there and Alt Mode also. And then on the side, you got that uh, Dark of the Moon Megatron with the uh, potato sack on his thing and everything. So it looks pretty cool. Looks really nicely uh, damaged or, you know, weathered. Kind of paint going on so pretty cool from toy world and then up next is shatter which i'm excited for it looks really good the bot mode and plane look really good the car mode eh, those wheels are really small i mean come on now i don't know i don't I'm not feeling the car mode really at all but i do like the bot mode and the jet mode looks pretty good too so nicely detailed and everything i'm really excited to see some uh you know paint on this thing and everything so shatter is coming from toy world and a nice diorama with uh, all their bumblebees they got my god yellow red uh gray or whatever i have the gray one and everything so you know you're getting every color of the rainbow for their bumblebees but not set up i like that so this is something new also I did, is this bumblebee also it looks like it's got a different front end and everything it's a different vehicle uh it looks like a little kind of a cheek thing so i don't know for sure you know much on this right now but uh we're giving us something else different uh, maybe a different bumblebee or something and another nice uh, diorama or display of a you know, worn city, worn, torn uh, city with a uh, bumblebee and their bulldog and everything. So pretty cool. And they showed us both their Optimus Primes from the Age of Extinction and from the Bumblebee movie, which everybody's making a prime now. But these look really good. I would be definitely in for the Bumblebee one. I might be in also for the Age of Extinction one too, because they both look pretty sweet. A lot of details, nice paint and everything. So yeah, two new primes from Toy World. All right, up next in the display is Zeta Toys. And it looks like we got some new images of their recolor of their Superion the Ergobots of a kind of a metallic paint job to them. So very nicely done individually and combined mode. And guess what folks? Another Bumblebee. I know. My God. But this one looks pretty good too. I mean, it got different, you know, face mask, you know, you got different arms and everything. You can get into the, you can give him his cannon and everything. So he goes into battle mode. So yep, another Bumblebee from Zeta Toys. So up next in the uh, display is Banana Force. And they showed us uh, their um, R.I.D. stuff. Uh, where they got Prime, I think he's out already. I've heard some good stuff about him. It looks pretty cool. Um, we got also pictures of a new R.I.D. Prime. I think it's a smaller version. And you got the Ultra Magnus. And you know, when they combine and everything, all that stuff. And look at that sword. That thing is huge. I wonder if he's gonna be able to hold it. I'll, they've not shown pictures of him holding it yet, but that thing is huge. But yeah, this is a Banana Force with the R.I.D. stuff, which is pretty cool that uh, somebody's going into R.I.D. I like that. All right, up next is going to be a display for a fan's hobby. And you get their Lightning Eagle, which was a Thunder Clash. Uh, you get their Minerva, which looks really good. I'm excited for her. Um, I'm definitely in her. You get the primes they have, all their recolors, and you get their God Bomber and their Apex Armors and the little guys that come with them. And pretty cool. So fan's hobby. Uh, I really like that company. I wish they would, you know, hope they do some more stuff after this. Uh, it looks like they're going to stick around. So I guess that the effects hobby is what they're called with their displays and everything for, you know, backgrounds and everything. I think they're part of the fans hobby, I guess, since they're showing with them. Uh, yeah, so they showed their little displays with their, uh, you know, um, siege stuff and everything. So pretty cool for effects hobby. And then this is fans hobby. It's pretty cool. All right, up next, looks like Planet X is still around. And that's cool. So they're giving us a Victor Leo with their Star Saber. So very cool. It's going to combine and uh, give him some uh, boots and some wings and some uh, swords. And very nice. And it looks like they're giving us a Optimus Prime from the video games also. And I love that axe. It looks really nice. Unless they, um, I know they gave us a Prime. Is this a new version of their Prime or something? Like maybe with a shinier uh, paint job? I don't know, are they just showing us the accessories that are giving with it? So I don't know if this is a new prime or not. Uh, I know they already gave us a prime before. So, but yeah, Planet X is still around. That's cool. All right, folks. Well, that is it, man. I hope you enjoyed that slideshow of a lot of new stuff coming. And my God, I'm so excited. This is what makes it awesome to do this kind of thing. I love doing what's new in Transformers is this kind of a show over there in Shanghai. Uh, it's all this weekend. Um, they may show some more stuff, but I just want to get this out real quick. Uh, it's not real quick. Actually, a lot of stuff, but I hope you liked it. Go down and hit me with some likes, shares, prayers, and care bears. Definitely go hit that sub button for me if you like the channel. I really appreciate that. And I guess I'll see you on the next What's New in Transformers. And as always, be good to yourself, 
man, hell transformers. And good night, folks.